Hey all, welcome back for another batch of Health Icons Patreon TV comms. Today we're checking out a new series by the name of Rising of a Shield Hero. This was commissioned by a frozen traveller, and we're going to be covering the first two episodes today. The first of which is a login. It's roughly about 47 minutes long, so uh, make sure you take that into account when you're finding your own copy of the media. Alright, here we go. Oh, and we're watching the dub as well. Just in case you're wondering. Here we go, episode one of Rising of the Shield a Hero. Check the video description if you need instructions. In three, two, one. Ah, uh, nothing like a good isekai upon an evening with the lads. Yep, uh, the uh, bread and butter genre of anime these days, apparently. Yeah, it seems it, doesn't it? Yeah. I've, I've heard... Uh, talk about this show, some less than pleasant things, oh. but uh, you know, it, it's mostly that you know deep analytical nerd shit that I know drags these commentaries down like an anchor. <laughs> so I'll save it until I feel the need to drag this commentary down like an anchor. Ah, uh, thank you. We'll call that the bad arc of HFC TV comms, and then we can make <laughs> more, put more effort in, and then it will seem like we've hit a new golden age. That'd be like less effort, because you're just asking me to not do deep nerd analysis. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, here's our pro talk. Yeah. I know bits and bobs about this, um, like the general conceit and stuff. Never watched it personally. I am not going to remember that name. I'm sorry, lad. Yeah. Ah, natural light. It's always slight otaku tendencies or full otaku tendencies. <laughs> or office worker. Yeah, it's never like someone who just like is at college and occasionally dabbles in video games or something. Uh. Touristy. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we're going there. Judging shrines. Uh, where are where is the where are the isekais that star like? I want an isekai that stars like a like a lifter, <laughs> like someone just like doing squats and oats. Because they're nerds in their own way. I've seen fit. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Uh, he's one of those fucking people that reads books out loud. I mean, he kind of has to. It's an anime. <laughs> we, anime doesn't have to do that, because anime has conditioned us to be okay with inner monologue. I guess. So, like, uh, like, inner monologue, like, voiceover does not fly in, like, live-action, like, shows over here for the most part. Uh, you know, now that you mentioned it, I have to see bloody shows, yeah, with it in a monologue. Live action uh, wise. Yeah, yeah it, it's just, it's just one of those things that, like, weirdly, it's just not, like, in the language of live action cinema. A lot of just, unless, like, a movie's heavily stylized, a lot of people will just be taken out of it completely if, if, if they're, they just start hearing the thoughts of the character. Also, it's just kind of, like, cheesy in live action, because, like, you know, you should want to just be able to, like, like, actors just want to be able to, you know, flex and let you read their emotions by reading their faces. Yeah, that's true. That's why they had to cut the inner monologue out of Blade Runner, because it was stupid. He was just thinking, like, phenomenon, do 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 anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, we have our heroes, they have their cardinal weapons, Spear... Uh, sword, bow, and shield. Oh, I'll be. But I'm going to tell you anyway, because we have a lot of time to fill in this episode. So, this guy, he's way too okay with what just happened. Yeah. Like, they're all a bit too okay with what just happened, but... Uh, Shield Man Protag is far too, like, unconcerned. Isn't the point of Isekai to be like a fish out of war sort of story? 
See, like these three, I I immediately like them because they're just immediately argumentative. Okay, then we're going to take the cardinal weapons back. They're not taking it in stride. They're just angry. And I I would feel entitled to reward if I were if this happened to me. That's all I'm saying. Well, you're forcing me into the mercenary role. Yeah, I'm gonna want some compensation at least. I'm going to want like a magic wish. That's not smug. That's reasonable. <laughs> See, I'm already not on his side. This he's really judgmental for a protagonist. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't judgmental. That was just me thinking it was judgmental. Yeah, no, that was, yeah, exactly. That was asked in earnest. Welcome to the TV commentary where we just basically analyze everyone's inflections in their dialogue. (laughs) Correct. So how come they all have to be taken from Japan? Uh, just more convenient that way, I guess. I'm probably just going to refer to these guys by their weapons. I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get owned. Yes, the most boring weapon user. Hello. It's your majesty, really. You should be pissed about other things. Yeah, the the scope of this adventure is bigger than you, my friend. (laughs) You have to stop the calamity? Hmm, yes. Mm. You know, I've not long finished... uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, so this is all tickling my Ah. interest bone right now. Where's the interest bone located? You don't want to know. (laughs) Well, they should have started... They shouldn't have chosen Horde mode. (laughs) The whole point is that eventually a wave comes that you can't survive. That's you got to see how far you can get. Yeah. I mean, it's not like um, Enter the Gungeon, where it's super hard to get through and kind of random, but there is an end. You can complete yeah. each person's story. Also, I'm not evil, just putting it out there. Maybe they've done this before. (laughs) Yeah, they all have like 10 years of Isekai experience. There is actually a a crossover of certain Isekai shows, I believe, called Isekai Quartet, which we will be checking out down the line. Ah. Now, this protagonist is just too judgmental. Uh, He knows things, uh, clearly. Just be observant. He's even tutorializing you, and you're just sassing him. In your mind, even. This would be quite... 
well, I don't know. Maybe I'm having like a jittery day and I can't get that thing out of the corner of my eye, like my peripheral vision. That's annoying. But if I can bring up like, oh, how thirsty I am. Do I need to hydrate? How hungry? Well, I don't need to know how hungry I am. I have years and years of experience knowing that. <laughs> So, Neo. Yeah? Which of these weapons do you think you'd uh, fancy a hand in uh, wielding? Uh, uh, the bow. Because I don't want to get close to anyone. <laughs> yeah, a ranged user. Um, I kind of fancy using the spear, honestly. Uh, again, let's just keep away. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, and then it translates into English for us. Loving this NPC dialogue. <clears throat> I could hear that in the background when I walk through Oblivion. <laughs> they all have to share one room. Well, I thought, like, these weapons aren't supposed to be close to one another. Well, they're not training them. Okay. Okay, so it's basically like a video game. Interesting. Oh, they all got here from a different place. Those three got there from video games. He got there from a book. Hmm. Oh. Different time periods. Oh, maybe different timelines. D. Gotcha. Yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. Because <laughs> your world is vastly lacking in MMO expertise and excellence. Like one year older than the next guy. Ouch. Wow. Dude, Captain America is right there. I guess, oh, they're talking about the game, I guess. Just fucking blown out. This is what you get for, like, judging everyone up to this point, you realize. <laughs> it's karma. Really? Yeah, and you have to have an... And you have to go monologue <laughs> at the balcony instead of talking about it. Yeah. Like the rest of them are. Don't slip. God. <laughs> All right, then. That's the kind of attitude I prefer. You know, just go into it with an optimistic outlook and everything will turn out for the best. Oh. He should still be less okay with this. <laughs> God damn it, Neo.
Now it's going to be like Dodgeball, where they take turns picking. <laughs> Look at all these Fire Emblem characters. Yeah. And like Dodgeball, the nerd's not going to get anyone. Oh. He's a fucking nerd. Well, he was shouting that he doesn't know anything about this world last night to the entire town. Because he got it in the form of a book instead of a video game. Ouch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, and you're asking them to force their people to go with you? Oh. They've all got a they've got a volunteer. That's that's what's right. Well, it's unorthodox, but given your very aesthetic, I'm going to allow it. Well, that's nice. It turned out okay in the end. Yeah. I'll spend it all in one place. I will, don't you worry. They seem nice. What? What the fuck was her name? <laughs> she is just going to be girl, Neo. I okay. think we need to uh, just get to grips with this right now. Everyone is an archetype. That's kind of the thing is with like dubs of isekais and whatnot. They rattle off like names and titles very yeah. quickly. So I don't really have time to internalize it. Oh. You should ask her like what her role is. I guess she has a sword, I guess, so I guess you can assume that she's a warrior of sorts. Yeah. Yeah. She's too enthusiastic. She's going to betray him or die. <laughs> I was born with this voice, with this beard, and with these muscles. Yes. I had to become a weapon shop. He came out fully grown, which was very yeah. draining on the mother.
Ouch. Again, stop shouting him to the moon every night. The entire town just collectively decided to be mean to you because you shouted in the middle of the night about your adventure and woke them up. <laughs> So she's making the economic decisions, I see. You're a shield hero. <laughs> what a bunch of fucking cloud shoes. I guess you're not allowed to use a different weapon. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. They literally told you this. Get some armor. I've been looking up voice actor trivia and whatnot, and apart from like a few obvious ones like DC Douglas and Erica Mendez, I don't think any one of the main characters is uh, uh, a recognizable voice actor. Oh, hey, he did get he did get armor. Nice. Man, you've played video games. Like... <sighs> Jeez, this guy. Maybe, like, all he's played is have a hotel. We have no way of knowing. We saw him playing an MMO. Yeah, well, maybe it was a shit MMO. I guess so. Insert an MMO you don't like here, I guess. Oh... Alright. Okay, just, just kick him. Or punch. The handed kick. <laughs> Aren't you meant to be using your weapon here? Okay, this is slightly embarrassing. It is. Oh, uh, we chose the same training ground. <laughs> Just getting mocked by other legendary weapon wielders. Well, well, go somewhere else. You don't want to... What's the range on that experience interference thing? Oh. It takes upgrade materials. She's definitely too helpful in Cherry. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. At least she bounces out his kind of, like, cynicism. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind that of rude, true. honestly. Yeah. 
You're very bad. Wow, he actually said, bitch, you got a downgrade. I guess it's like a, oh, what are you doing, girl? Yes, she's definitely playing him. Oh, and he deserves it. Yeah. I mean, if this was Breath of the Wild, you could, like, take some monster parts and turn them into potions and whatnot. What if we just keep going east until we hit the map border? Will we find an invisible wall? Probably just wrap back around. He's going to get robbed. Hmm. Yeah, she's playing him. Watch out for the uh, the animation bump. It means yep. things. <laughs> Turns out the shield is to repel hoes. It repels all manner of uh of ill. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find the no right alcohol, words, Neo. Yeah. No. All, all manner of vice. Booze. Drugs. Yes. Sex. And gaming, apparently. And gaming. Hmm. Here oh. comes the frown. Mm -hmm. Oh, nope. Cut away. Why don't you do your taxes while you're at it? I want to know what it feels like to kill. <laughs> I hear better people in the other room. Here's other people partying it up and just goes to bed at a fucking... What a square. No wonder he's a shield hero. <laughs> wow, Neo. Robbed. Robbed. Happened. Called it. <laughs> Nothing you were saying or doing signified that you intended to go back home. Oh, I'm thinking of framing. 
It's very clear that I'm just kind of in my skivvies here. You know, it really, it's clear that it wasn't me who did this. Aha. See, you can't trust women. Yes, I'm a square. Surely you must know this. Oh, huh? Fo um Medieval fantasy world is uh, surprisingly uh, harsh on sexual assault. You know? Yeah, it's surprisingly ups. progressive for a medieval thing. It kind of makes you wonder why go with the medieval aesthetic at all. Oh, that's just mine. For 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 money and for power, I mean, why would anyone do this? And on this day, the protag became red pilled. And then this is where he gets edgy. <laughs> Well, that that's a leap. What? That that's not proof that they were what? They're kind of leaping to the same conclusion that these guys are towards him. I, I like. Sh it, clearly, she's lying. Clearly, she's playing him for sympathy. Of course, she'd call him by name. What? It's not a, just about the sh- what? This guy! Uh, Bro! The, <laughs> the little blonde guy seems fine. It's like- <laughs> It's shield racism, apparently.
Ah, okay. Wow. Oh. What was Spear Guy going to say? It's kind of a cool conceit for an isekai. Like, everything just kind of goes tits up before the end of the first episode. I don't know. I think this is a bit of a persecution fantasy. Uh, the against me too. I have no one. Wow. Just instant edgelord. He truly has been red-pilled. <laughs> wow, Neo, Jesus Christ. Or I guess black-pilled, really. But still, same thing. I don't know why I'm saying Jesus Christ to you when I basically said as much myself. <laughs> not today, guys. I'm kind of not in the mood. And so he just went and beat his balls until he felt better. He's going to jip him because he's a rape because he thinks he's a rapist, and then it's going to make him even more like, "Oh, can't believe it." Yep. I mean, if they're going to treat him like a, a criminal, he may as well act like one. Okay, yep. Well, I'll be. Jesus, dude. That's okay. 
This guy just instantly just like turns. Wow. I mean, what other choice does he have right now? Like, I, I mean, maybe try and like, I don't know, not as, you know, like you can attempt to mitigate the fallout. There's sh- try and talk to ra- average people. Maybe try and clear things up. Maybe find a different town. <laughs> Ah. Oh, cool, it does change. Nice. I like that one. Oh, it's just like RuneScape. Just, just do anything. <laughs> I want a RuneScape piece ago. I do too. They're all oh, stupid. No, he's, he's introducing capitalism into the world. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Uh, what's next? Democracy? No, no. Oh god. Oh no. He's been black pilled and he's a hyper capitalist. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, I'm the shield hero. I can at very least repel a knife. <laughs> Oh, so much for that team up. I feel like this show really wants me to think he's cool. I'm not sure about that, Dio. <laughs> I thought. I just hope this whole series isn't watching this man have an extended temper tantrum. I feel like we're going to be out that uh, path soon. Oh, jeez. Oh. Are you a pimp? Become part of the carnival. Hmm. Hell yeah. Pretty sure this is how uh, Dark Chronicle slash Dark Cloud 2 starts. I'd be careful of, like, <laughs> clouds and whatnot. People will throw tomatoes at you, but you'll get paid. <laughs> well, you can block them oh. with a shield. Slaves, my boy. Apparently. Oh. Just out loud.
okay, what, dude? I guess we're dealing with, like, an anti-hero. Okay. Oh, no. Is he gonna buy a slave, but, like, just be nice about it, and we're and it's supposed to be okay? <laughs> Is that oh. what's going to happen? I've oh. seen fantasy anime before. Jesus. Really bad ones, where they just have slaves, but they're nice about it. And I, I've, I'm on alert. I'm on high alert. Like, I am ready to go full nuclear social justice warrior on this thing. I, I can't wait until we get to certain cartoons, I can tell you what. <laughs> Human supremacy, of course. Oh no, the series wife who is his slave. Oh no. Uh, I was wondering when she was going to turn up. I guess this is the OP. I suppose. Is this a dubbed OP? I think it might be. Oh, I'll be. And I doubt this was all English in the original. And uh, the, the meter's pretty odd, so this definitely feels like it was originally in a different language. So, yeah. Dubbing songs are... Dubbing songs is like pretty dicey you gotta it, it takes a special special talent like you got to be good at writing music you got to be good at writing in general you got to be fluent in two languages it's so yeah it's usually pretty awkward hmm very interesting oh close that down so that was the first episode of Rising of a Shield Hero. What did you think, mate? Where in directions I wasn't expecting, I'll say that much. Yeah, okay, like, he, the, 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 the protagonist I thought was annoying at the start, and then, like, a flip switched in his head after the fucking bizarre incel persecution fantasy halfway through. And now he's just like this and now I all I really don't like him. <laughs> well, maybe we have to fall as far as Hades until we can rise to Olympus. I just feel it's a neat conceit. I'm willing to uh, go down the path with you if you'll uh, be willing to follow me. I suppose. Who knows? Maybe this will wind up being like a a good anti-hero character study about someone with a persecution complex. But I don't know. It's an isekai. I doubt it. Wow. So, also, I'm ready. Persecution complex? There's no complex here. They are persecuting him. Well, it's what I mean is like for like the audience, for like okay. like, right. like 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 an intended like idea cuz like the, this whole like this is very main. This is like a very like Actually, we can get into it once we start the episode, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's. All right, guys. Here we go. Episode 2, The Slave Girl in 3 2 1. All right, here we go. All right, so he's about to buy a slave, but be nice about it, I guess. But okay, when I meant when I say persecution complex, okay, uh, basically what I'm saying is that like this whole idea of him like being uh, of a woman pretending to be nice to him only to like rob him of all his things, even after he doesn't, even though he's all virtuous and nice, uh, turning him into like turning him to an into an angry person like that's like a fantasy that a lot of like these like the you know the incel types will ha will tend to have uh the idea that like society's out to get him mm. to get them and like the fact that like 
the, it, it's that one incident. As far as he can tell, he only knows for certain that there's that one woman who really fucked him over. And he's put the blame on all of society. And now, like, the fantasy is bending to that. It is having all of society persecute him. Apparently for being a shielder. So. Well, for being a rapist, apparently. Yeah, for being falsely accused of rape. Which is, again, pretty common thread you'll find in certain subforums. So, that's what I mean by persecution fantasy. It's a wider, it's it's not his persecution fantasy, it's a wider, broader uh, playing into certain things that I find quite distasteful. Well, th- this is an anime, Neo. You know, it wasn't designed by someone based in the West. Well, you know what also was, I mean, th- these are problems in Japan, too. Like, in fact, uh, the, the whole uh, male, uh, you know, deprived of sex thing, that's, that's even worse in Japan. It is what it is. Could you not layer so much when you say that? See? It's very tasteful. It's like in uh, Rise of Skywalker, and they sold you to protect you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, I do like uh, the OP and the theme. Uh, I'm not a fan of the genre. Jesus, dear. What? This has nothing to do with any broader societal politics. It's just okay. me not liking <laughs> liking the genre of music. See, I kind of like Linkin Park. The breakdown, as it were. Yeah. But this is very Linkin Park Evanescence. <laughs> a little and bit, yeah. Usually, and I'm usually not that big a fan of this. Uh, especially if it's, like, dub translated, which just makes, like, the meter all, like, of, of uh, the uh, the patter and the language all uh, a bit wonky. And now the episode. Must you smile while you do this? I enjoy my work, (laughs) what can I say? Well, it's official. <sighs> uh, yeah, and, and and pay the man, obviously. I don't. I, okay. So forge your own path. Like, find your own fate. You know, don't play by the world's rules. Except when purchasing a slave. Is what I'm getting from this. I'm going to tune you out by the end of this, I hope you realize. <laughs> I, I, you hate me because I speak the truth. Okay, now who's being the incel? <laughs> that's not incel, that's Christian. <laughs> wow. Yes, hi. My slave needs armor. She's my slave. <laughs> you, have you have you, you have you realized now that I am not a bad person? <laughs> but it's your last one. Oh, 
God. He's not even nice about it. There you go. There you go. Also, never do that in my shop again. Yeah, a little bit distasteful. I'm trying to run a legit business here. Saying that out loud. Say what you really think. What, you think buying slaves is morally dubious? <laughs> huh? See, he's nice. He's feeding his slave. And so they also did that in the antebellum South. They don't serve Debbie Gibbons. Oh no! <laughs> wow. He the rapist. Oh, what a great background dialogue. Like, there's the Lancer, the Bowman, and the Rapist. All classes you'll find in an MMO. Oh. You mind, okay, you mind if I just bring up something horrible? Go on. Okay, there's this tabletop RPG called Fatal. Uh, cause, uh, and uh, it's, it's really, really bad. It's a really bad RPG. Mm. But... Uh, they have you calculate a bunch of a bunch of shit when you're doing character generation, and one of them is you have to calculate anal circumference. What? Yeah. Well, you see, rape is an action you can take in that in that game, and the way the numbers work out, rape is rape deals more damage than using like a weapon. Right. It's a bad RPG. Look up look it up on one D four chan. It's, no. <laughs> no, I'm it, not going it, to do. There's no imagery. It's just descriptions of it being a terrible, horrible, like poorly designed, poorly written tabletop RPG. Look at him eating greens like a square. Does the shield shield him from having taste buds? I'm not sure. Maybe that's just like punishment for how he's acting. Maybe. Hey, they're different. They're different uh, colors. All we've been fighting is balls. Yes. If only this were like Dragon's Dogma, because you know the pawns in that are are, are basically beholden to your will, but they're not slaves. They're ethereal beings. Well, maybe that'll turned out to be a thing here down the line as well. Like, they'll break the pact, but she'll stay anyway. I mean, that's what we call breaking a mind. We're gonna get into Stockholm Syndrome here, Neo. Yeah. I'm just saying, that's how slavery works. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Shield guy, got it. All right, I'll say your whole name every single time. Okay, so is this going to have a time skip where she said where where she'll be like her, what she looks like in the OP, or is it, or is she just going to have like an alternate form? 
You know, I'm honestly not sure. I haven't looked into the show enough to know that. Ah, jeez. Wait, are you trying to, like, say, does she have a legal form? That's... I, I'm, I'm saying, like, is, is that what the show is going to do? Or is he just going to age? Because I'm aware that this character is, like, the, 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 the waifu character, essentially. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know the name, what, Raftalia. Uh, wow. Who's dead? Who's dead? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, thanks for saying... <laughs> I didn't have to ask about that. Thank you. <laughs> Man, if only grieving was that expositionary in real life. I'm just saying it's very helpful. Although really, a generous donation would be greatly appreciated. There are many sick people in need. If you're a good slave, I'll give you a whole playground. Really play it and do it. Well, at least he has a meat shield in addition to his actual shield. Yeah. My slave has never been this cute. <laughs> Why, it's like I'm her father. Uh, no! Oh, finally, a different enemy. No, it's too cute. I might be related to it, sir. This is kind of awkward. Uh, she's hemophobic. Don't do it. Like a slave. A slave would do. Not a friend, Dude, just a slave. It's locked on your arm. Just hit it. I mean, you can still bludgeon things with a shield. Yeah. Bite its ear. Jesus. That's a lot of... Wow. Does that thing not have organs? Is it just all blood? Well, maybe. <laughs> Baby's first sword. <laughs> Gonna get a big one. Oh, I see. Like, like the instrument, not uh, the, uh, not the treasure. Yes. Uh, 
if I did, I wouldn't be selling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of a dumb question. Dude. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That sounds fun. Rope is cool. You can do a lot of things with rope. There's a lot of cool things you can do with a shield. You can, like, throw it. Yeah. You can hide well, behind it. He can't take it off his body. <laughs> yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, that it's just like the Skyrim pickaxe animation. Really got it down pat. Oh, what a surprise. It has two heads, not three. You know, it's a dog. I'm pretty sure it has no problem with water. See? Rope shield. Handy. Yeah. Basically, I have a grapple. I mean, did you not get that from her waking up and shouting, No, my mother, my father, they're dead? <laughs> they were killed specifically <laughs> by a thing. <laughs> oh, jeez, level 15. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be a good amount of uh, XP you get. Uh, I'm just reminded of um, Pat from Pat Stairs at playing yeah. Zelda 2, and he rounds the corner in the forest, and almost has a heart attack because he sees something with like a level 75. Uh, tag on it and then two enemies like walk apart because they were overlapping and it's a level seven and a level five <laughs> wonderful <laughs> i'll probably take a few stabs Ah, oh, see, it works. Here's where the world turns. And then I'll die horribly. <laughs> And it'll be your fault, Rathalia. It will. But do it anyway. You Run, specifically. Totally. <laughs> Remember all those times I, I fed you and gave you shelter <laughs> in return for purchasing you and owning you as a person. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, slave conditioning works. <laughs> Damn. Two strikes. And it's level 15, and they're what? Level, like, five? Realistically, they shouldn't have been able to hit it at all. Yeah. 
Uh, I forgot like, my yeah. Xenoblade rules. Oh, uh, clearly not Xenoblade rules. There should have been like a light skull icon above it. Mm. Uh, I have trauma bonded her successfully. <laughs> oh my god. This is going to be a long series of reactions. I'm just saying what's happening. Are you Neo? Are you real? I am. All right. How wasn't it? How, what was it? What was, was it? Not trauma bonding. All right. It was trauma bonding. Exactly. Jesus. <laughs> hey, Ed. <laughs> just the softness of the Ed just reminds me of that one tweet where it's like <laughs> every anime be like, and then it's just Kermit looking up at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like EDs like that, I'm just saying. It's true. Yeah. He soldiers on. With his very sharp chin. Yes. Slavery is true, yes. Yeah. No, oh, I like that. Oh, a little bit of a stinger. Hey. Have to be careful of that going forward just so we don't miss any. And look, the flag of my nation. <laughs> what is that, sir? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. So yeah, that was the first two episodes of Rising of a Shield Hero. What did you think, Neo? I'm looking forward to hearing how you felt. All right. Well, that was... Uh, I'm aware that power fantasy is just... Like, like, like fantasy, just, just... Some people just want to turn their brains off. They just, they just want to, like... They just want to not think about implications of things too hard. And, ju and just enjoy a good fantasy show. And I understand that. Here's the thing that I, 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 I can't do that. That's not how I watch things. Uh, so, uh, when I see, like, this sort of setup and, like, the tropes, like, of, like, buy, of, like, buying a slave, like, engaging with, like, the, with, like, the, like, these medieval fantasy things, uh, I, it, it always, uh, it can get under my skin. And I kind of feel like I have to talk about it. Because I'm actually a big fan of like a fantasy set of like fantasy done well, okay. and uh, and like fantasy that takes itself seriously. So uh, and I think this is trying to take itself seriously. So I feel like uh, when you have a protagonist like this, you should tread with more nuance and care than this show has thus far shown. But I am open to the idea that it could like well start doing that and get better. Okay. Uh, as for me, I thought the first episode was just a bit slow. Like, all the mechanics and settings and characters were fine. Uh, but episode two, I thought, was uh, much more snappy. So, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. There is more coming, so thank you, Frozen Traveller, for continuing to commission this. And uh, if you guys want your own TV comms, please be aware there is a backlog, so uh, you may have to wait upwards of a year. Yes, a year. Even in uh, real life, there are things to do uh, for your commission. But everything that has been paid for will be delivered eventually. That's the HFC updated motto. So if you want to help support HFC and get something cool down the line, the Patreon's there for you to help us with. Thanks for listening, guys, and we'll see you next time for not only more of Rising of a Shield, hero, but for more TV comms in general. Bye-bye.